Hey everyone, I'm going to go ahead and show you a pretty accurate way to make a bendable phone cord. So to start things off, I'm going to do create polygon helix. I'm going to expand this polyhelix and change some of these values around. Uh, these values were something that I had already found. So under coils, I can change to 50. Hit tab. Height will be set to 40. Width will be set to 2, radius will be set to 0.3, and subdivision coils will be set to lucky number 8. Uh, next up, I'm going to select the end caps. So I'm going to select this face up here, select this face down here, and just do a shift right extrude face and bump this thickness up a little bit to something like that. Uh, what I'm making is that sort of extra little uh, piece of cord that is not spiraled. On the front camera, I am going to rotate this by minus 90 uh, just to match the angle of this initial placement. Okay, uh, next up, I'm going to create a controller. Under Create, Curve Tools, CV Curve Tool, and I'm going to create nine points. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hit Enter. Now I did my best to kind of keep it as even as possible, but you'll kind of notice if I select all these points, uh, they're not perfectly straight, which is fine. Uh, to make them straight, I can select them all under CVs, and these are the values of all the positions. So X can actually be zeroed out, so I'm just going to highlight all those, hit zero and enter. And the Y values uh, just have an increment of five on each. So starting with minus 20, minus 15, minus 10, minus 5, 0, 5, 10, 15, and 20. Okay. I am going to go ahead and rename this curve uh, just so I don't confuse myself later. So I'm going to call this curve wire control. Uh, the reason why I'm calling it a wire control is because we're actually going to use a wire deformer for this thing. So under deform wire, I'm going to click this. And if you look in this bottom left right here, uh, it says wire tool. Select shapes to deform and press enter. So I'm going to select the geometry, hit enter. Uh, now the little tool at the bottom says wire tool, select wire curves and press enter to finalize this operation. So I'm going to select the controller and hit enter. Uh, now if I select this control vertex and pull this, you'll see that the geometry is starting to be affected by the controller, but uh, not in a way you initially expected. Uh, reason being is uh, there's actually a falloff distance from this curve. Uh, what that means is it's only affecting things um, at a certain distance from it. So I'm going to select the geometry, and under inputs I look for wire, and I just need to change this drop-off distance. So if I make a big number, something like 100, uh, now the geometry snaps to the curve. And I can kind of play around with this a little bit more. Uh, but you'll notice um, one underlying issue with this setup. And that is because uh, in moments like this, this geometry is squashing and actually kind of inverting on itself. And then parts like this where it's completely stretching. Uh, and this isn't how something like this would actually react in real life. So I'm going to control Z back just a little bit, just enough to break uh, 
the wire deformer. So instead of deforming geometry, I'm actually going to deform a curve. Uh, to make a curve, I can actually use the geometry we've already made by right-clicking right this, go to Edge. I'll just double-click an edge, which will actually select an edge loop wrapping all the way down to the bottom. And then go to Modify, Convert, and the fifth one down should say Polygon Edges to Curve. Uh, just like that, I have a spiral curve from this geometry. So uh, next up, uh, I actually want to adjust this curve just a little bit, because I actually want this curve to live inside uh, the geometry. So I'm going to go to Control Vertex. Going to grab all of these points and turn on uh, x-ray mode just so I can see this a little bit better. And what I'm going to do is change to scale, uh, hold down control, and then scale down in Y or green. Uh, just to zoom out so you can see what's happening. If I don't hold control and scale this, it actually squashes inwards like this. If I hold control, uh, it's actually scaling in red and blue only. So I'm just doing this because when I ultimately do a sweep through this geometry, I want it to be back to this original sort of shape. So something like that. I can now hide this geometry. And just like before, I'm going to use the wire deform. So I'm going to come up here to deform wire. I'm going to select uh, what I want to deform first, in this case the spiral, hit enter, and then select the controller and hit enter. Now if I go to control vertex and I'll pull this point, uh, it looks like it's not working. It's just because we have to change uh, the drop-off distance under wire. So I'll just put this value back up to 100. And now this is reacting uh, as intended. Okay, so I'm just going to turn on my geometry since I had it hidden. And now I can just kind of position this how I want it. So I'll go to my front camera. And I might have made this a little bit too long, but that's all right. Just get something like that. It's okay if uh, the little end isn't going perfectly into the space. We will adjust that momentarily. Uh, just to make it a little more interesting, I'll even translate it uh, this way a little bit. Maybe that side goes back. This way can go forward. Now this is the controlling the spiral, uh, but that doesn't stop me from actually grabbing some of these points. Something like that.
can always adjust this later uh, once we get some geometry in here. There we go. And the very last step would be to uh, create and sweep mesh. And I just need to change these values a little bit. Let's try lowering the scale profile and raise the precision. And there we go. So um, notice how when I pull this, uh, this actually starts reacting uh, realistically, where this part stretches and stuff like this kind of bunches up together. And since there is history on this, uh, you can kind of uh, work with this to get it just how you want it. <laughs> 